Guys, we are going into the Creeping Malice Extreme. It is a Demon Aquan week to something. I don't know. Lightning? Yeah. So, uh, no items, no KOs, clear within seven turns. Um, we'll go with a five man team. That gives you an option to pick up a friend unit um, if, if you so desire. But this is the team we're going with. Um, so it does a preemptive, uh, either water and or ice magic attack that can be covered. So we're bringing Maeve, um, as our magic cover tank. Uh, she's starting in the shift form, just high water and high ice resist. Uh, it's only an 80% in peril, um. That goes along with it, as far as I can tell. But instead, this is overkill. You really only need to gear for 180 uh, without a buff. Because you don't have a chance to buff resistances since it's preemptive. But anyway. Um, yeah, here's the gear. Like I said, it's overkill. You only need 180. Uh, actually, let's see if that holds true. Um, we'll try to wh whittle her down closer to 180. Okay, so 180 ice exactly. We can probably drop some water resist. Okay. And we're getting some resistances from Sylvie's vision card. I auto geared for spirit and it just slapped that card on. So, and she does need her own TMR or STMR on for preemptive magic cover in the shift form. Uh, Kaito, just built for LB damage against uh, Demon and Aquan. Kind of low on the Aquan side. Full LB. He's got his own vision card. Esther, just here for damage. Um, yeah, uh, LB damage against Aquan and uh, Demon. So, geared a little... Uh, a little higher on the killers, so there's that. Uh, Roberta, base form, I tried to provoke with her. The boss does. So, aside from the magic, um, yeah, aside from the preemptive magic, it also reduces your status ailment resistance to at least like paralyzed confusion, I think. And it bers berserks um, a single target. And uh, you can't provoke it, so it's kind of... We'll, we'll see who eats the provoke. Um, I think we should be fine, regardless of who eats it. Uh, Roberta's handy, because she has Aquan Killer, and her base form LB can remo remove um, uh, Berserk. So, And Sylvie, uh, shift form, just... I put Obsidian Bracer on her just in case you don't have Kaito. I mean, you should have him, but there's, you know, a break anyway for you. And we're going for a turn two clear. But, so, pretty much naked. And Roberta, yeah. Naked. So. Anyway, we'll get into it. I'm sure there's some mechanics I'm, you know, not considering or not aware of, but we're just going for a quick clear. Okay, so they tanked that just fine. Roberta ate the uh, Berserk, so, which is fine. Uh, so this turn, we are going to go ahead and I guess we'll just... Uh, Shifted LB with Sylvie. Kaito in the shift form is going to... Oh, and just to point it out, uh, not that it really matters since we're not taking any significant damage, but the boss boosted its attack and magic and its uh, mitigating magic attacks. So we are going to use Kaito for crashing waves to get rid of the offensive buffs on the boss and then just uh, deep submersion for a break and then man a few words for a demon killer on himself 
Esther is just going to Great Sword and Peril and then uh, Energizing Bunny, True Stormbrand. Maeve is going to just mitigate, cover magic, and then put up a barrier. Okay, so there's an HP or MP drain, nothing too serious. We covered the magic attacks with May. It looks like they were still just uh, ice and or water. So, yeah, 180 resistance seems to be fine. So now we're going to LB with Esther, ship that LB with Kaito. Sylvie is going to give us, uh, let's see... Uh, bolt egg basket for an AOE imbue on the party. Um, demon killer over to Esther, and then I guess bigger LB damage buff over to Kaito. Roberta can just give us Aquan killer. So I guess the Berserk's only a one turn thing. Unless Roberta's, uh, I don't think her normal attack is like a self-dispel or anything. I think it just may be a one-turn duration berserk. Interesting. No. I mean, does her normal attack change to anything? Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Okay, we're just gonna LB with these two and that should be the fight. It's gonna be massive overkill. Yeah, and there are no like, no breaks or anything. Just uh, lowered ice resist, lowered water resist, lowered confusion paralysis resistance, but I mean, if the fight was going on longer than turn two, we might want to do something about that with Sylvie. Just put up some ailment resistances in the base form, but yeah, that's really not necessary. Obviously. So there we go. Might play around with this later in the week. Uh, do it more budget, drawn out, clear. Just to see what all the boss's mechanics are and try to deal with them. Jesus. So, there we go. And, yeah, that's it. I, I was... I wasn't sure if there was going to be a harder difficulty unlocking, but apparently not. I mean, I was just going to make another video if there were, but yeah, I mean, nothing too hard. Um, anyway, hope this helped. Um, yeah, like I said, just uh, really all you need is that preemptive magic cover and the rest of it seems like it should be a cakewalk. But anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you guys later.